It is the 119th meeting between the clubs, the 60th here at Anfield. Saints have won here just seven times in their history. We're underway, it is Liverpool's 200th FA Cup match at Anfield. Can the Reds seal a quarter-final against either Nottingham Forest or Manchester United next month? Or could Southampton, in their chain strip, white jerseys, spring a major surprise against the Premier League leaders? Through the middle, straight away, it's Mora! But the flag's up. He certainly looked offside, but he tucked it away beautifully. Yeah, it was a nice finish, actually. Yeah, he is just offside, just almost a yard. Tidy finish, however, that will please him. Oh, there's just a, a slightly nervous hush around Anfield. Liverpool fans thought that might be 1-0 Southampton inside 30 seconds. But it is still 0-0. And, of course, Liverpool's home record this season has been stupendous. 18 wins, two draws, no defeats. That's a very big ask for Southampton. This is Bobby Clark back to Virgil van Dijk. Trying to spread it out to Elliot. Well seen by Ryan Manning. And Liverpool get the throw. A lot of noise coming from the 5,000 travelling fans. That's not bad, is it, from the south coast on a Wednesday evening, 8 o'clock kickoff UK time. Yeah, that's a terrific turnout. I mean, seven wins in their history as well on this ground. It's actually pretty impressive as well. There's some, some bigger hitters in the Premier League who those numbers. Yeah, they won here most recently in a League Cup semi-final in 2017. And Shane Long scored a late winner. Flags up again. Yeah, that's a contest I'm looking forward to. Suleiman is a trickster, good runner with the football. Bradley will have to be on his toes defensively. Cover uh, Joe Gomez. You would imagine that those two actually will interchange, I think, a little bit. Gomez will drop into midfield, try and fill in as a, an extra body now, give a little, a little bit more control. The most recent meeting between the clubs, by the way, was on the final day of last season in the Premier League. It finished 4 4 at St Mary's. Saints have been 4 2 up. There have been five FA Cup meetings here at Anfield over the years, and Liverpool's record is perfect. Five wins, ten goals scored, none conceded. It's Cody Gakpo for the Reds. Gets a lovely return there as well from Kumas. Now it's Simakas, and across came Stevens. And I think the flag was up for offside. Southampton do like to play their football, sometimes overplaying. Can be a criticism of that Sachi Lab and seems offside. Easy one for the referee's assistant on the far side. An opportunity for the youngsters for Liverpool to try and steal the ball as high as they can. Well, they won't change their style, Southampton. Russell Martin is a huge believer in his philosophy. They will play out from the back. Nothing will change that. And you can see Liverpool are ready, ready to press. Well, a couple of ball steals uh, will perhaps just make them a little bit more cautious. Well, that was a great pass from Lundley, if he intended that. Edozi. We're used to seeing him play on the left-hand side. He started on the right here. Here's Bree, former Luton man. Came to Southampton with uh, Nathan Jones as part of his ill-fated spell in charge. Manning. Didn't reach Suleimana. Here is Elliot. Just made his debut in this competition as a 16-year-old, so memorably against Everton. Aribo. He's got it through to Suleimana. Tried to place it and hits the post. 
relief for Liverpool. Saints are balls with the way from taking the lead. Well, that was a good play. It was a nice steal in the end. He just bundled uh, and Harvey Elliott off the ball with second Mara. Great first touch from Sulemara. There's the position finish he's looking for. Just a couple of inches wide at the target. Would have been quite something. And they've won it back again. Mara! Great stop from Kelleher. Well, Southampton can't believe they're not in front here. Yeah, Van Dijk has put uh, McConnell, I think, in big trouble. Oh, it's a miskick, isn't it? Hits his standing foot, actually, doesn't it? Sekumara. Just gave Kelleher the chance. Good stop. here to win Southampton Rothwell on loan from Bournemouth Kelleher comes and punches We've got a player down here Liverpool the referee is going to stop the game it's uh, Connor Bradley I think Liverpool will be glad of this uh, pause won't they that's a great attempt, isn't it, from Suleimana? That's a good save from Kelleher. Two great chances, not taken. Well, it usually happens, then you, against the big boys. Yeah, you've got to take those chances. Suleimana yet to score this season. This is his 19th appearance. Mara with six goals this campaign for Russell Martin's side. He'll be delighted with the way his team have started here. Arrivo dispossessed by Clark. Gomez thought he was fouled. Referee didn't. Referee is Craig Pawson, who was the referee for Liverpool's 2022 FA Cup final win over Chelsea. Simicast got the winning penalty in the shootout. Chipped out by Lovely. Rothwell. Bednarek, the pole. Wearing the armband is Jack Stevens. Mara dispossessed. Not for long. Rebo. Yes, yeah, these midfield areas where Southampton are feel quite dangerous at the moment. Three inches in the middle of the park for Liverpool, and able to really cope up present. That's why Joe Gomez is in detail to in the middle of the park. Got to use his experience to try and disrupt uh, Southampton, perhaps just allow them to the visitors have a little bit more of the ball than ideally they would like the home team. Just concentrate on. Making sure there are no gaps between themselves in the middle and Liverpool back four. Well, we were here for the uh, last round against Norwich, and they certainly had their moments, the Canaries. Liverpool convincing winners in the end. But uh, they don't actually keep a lot of clean sheets, Liverpool. Just one in their last eight games, which of course was at Wembley on Sunday. Norwich did score twice here, including a Cracker from Borja Sainz. But one thing Liverpool always do is score. Scored in 49 of their last 50 games in all competitions. The only time they failed was in that uh, rather infamous 0-0 draw with Manchester United in December when uh, United really did park the bus. Game they drew against Thorsten, so wasn't the next home game anyway. Just those two games that they've not been able to control the opposition and get the result required. Bednarek, Manning, player that uh, Russell Martin knows extremely well. We're together at MK Dons and Swansea, and he brought him to Southampton as well.
Shea Charles back to Bednarek. You'll see Southampton really back themselves in this situation. Stevens, Charles. Yeah, if, they, very good. if they break the press, then spaces open up. And Charles has done well. Edozi, look, they've got four up here, Southampton. Edozi back on his left side. Will it break for Mara? Out comes Kelleher. Mara keeps it in. Suleimana heads for the byline and wins the corner. Well, does he? I think the flag's up here. Eventually went up. And it's a tight one, but he is just about offside as that ball is struck. Once again, it's another big save from even Kelleher. Yeah, that's great goalkeeping. Mara did right thing, smooth little dink over. It's the old risk and reward that Russell Martin believes in. If you do break that press, then suddenly spaces will open up, and that's exactly what happened there for Saints. But, of course, you are taking a big risk at the other end against quality opposition like this. Well, we talked about Saints uh, the desire to keep on playing out from back. I said the only thing that could change it, of course, is Liverpool continue to uh, uh, steal the ball a couple of times. That can uh, very uh, quickly change your mindset of the players, no matter what is coming from uh, the coach and his assistants on the sideline. At the moment, Liverpool have been dispossessed quite often. Rothwell to a rebo. Former Rangers man. Back it goes by three to Stevens. Bednarek. Manning. Remember, it's still a very much changed Saints team from the weekend as well. And they did lose at home. We heard from Russell Martin pre-match that the only time he's actually been disappointed in recent times was the first half against Hull seven days ago when uh, it really did go wrong. But even in the other two defeats, he was very happy with the performance. He won't change his principles, that's for sure. Quansi. just not quite sticking in midfield for Liverpool at the moment. Bednarek. Manning. Charles. Bednarek. Needed to win that, Bree, and he did. And he releases Samuel Adozi. And again, there's four up for Saints. Kelleher with an easy take. Four play from Costa Simicas. He's never going to get to that football, just had to hold his ground and deny the counter-attack. He's one of the more experienced players on the Liverpool outfit. Making uh, such basic errors. Oh, there's no need to chase the game. Certainly some very big squad numbers out there for uh, Liverpool tonight. To seeing Connor Bradley's 84, but uh, and Quanza's 78. They've even got 98 on the bench. As Trey uh, Leone, he would actually be Liverpool's youngest ever FA Cup player if he was to make his debut tonight. Only 16. I'd love to get up more than so It's a dream scenario to be able to give him his debut. Yes wanted to play and get uh, the chance to come on in the League Cup final a few days ago. Elliot, beautiful switch of play to Simicas. Rolled inside nicely to Clark. It's a nice ball, isn't it? Out to Bradley. Cleared by Bednarek. Juanse. Van Dijk. Former Saints player, of course, made his debut in this competition for Saints. Simicas. Beautifully rolled back for Gomez. And his search for that first Liverpool goal goes on and on. 
and so well because the Anfield crowd were encouraging him to shoot. Need to register a professional goal, isn't it, Joe Gomez? Yeah, 209th appearance for Liverpool, 233rd appearance in club football. No goals. He shouldn't egg him on. Well, it is a fantastic supporters they brought along, isn't Southampton? Yeah, you can't argue with support like that. Certainly, the Saints have made a really bright start here. Bradley, the ricochet favours Manning. Liverpool are definitely sensing the opportunity to nick it high up the field. They haven't done it as yet. Well, it wasn't meant for him, probably was actually yeah. so find uh, James McConnell and the pace that he put onto that football. Russell Martin has scored here in his uh, Norwich days. A one-all draw that was, 2015. Oh, Charles took a risk and was fouled. They're going to give the uh, fans in that away end a few nervous moments for sure. They're used to it by now, aren't they? They are, but they're playing against Liverpool this time. Not championship opposition. At that time Russell Martin scored, it was just a few hours after his son uh, Leo had been born. He left Liverpool to go back to Norwich for the birth at midnight, came back at 9.30am having not slept, lied to Alex Neil, said that he had plenty to eat, plenty of rest and started the game and scored. Certainly a nice story for his son. Silimana wins the corner. Here come the reinforcements from the back. Stevens and Bednar. Rothwell with the corner, headed on by Aribo. Free header as well for the Nigerian. Rothwell, great run, but he's wide. Well, he made the opportunity for himself with a lovely run and it opened up for him. Yeah, far too easily, passed a couple of Liverpool players. In the end, Gomez does well, just stands his ground. It's so difficult for him to actually get a clean sight of the goal. And there is Russell Martin. There's opportunities that continue to uh, present themselves along the game goes on. Scored uh, an absolute worldie recently, Rothwell, didn't he, against Huddersfield, fully on the volley. As a substitute, came on and scored twice. It's a rebo with the uh, buzz cut these days. Gomez. Elliot under pressure. Van Dyke got there ahead of Adozi as he had to. Simakas looking to release Kumas. Past Stevens. A nudge from Stevens, but nothing more. Experience. He's him out of the way. Kumas looked at the referee. The Liverpool crowd wanted a penalty. Just leaned into his ribs. Yeah, the threshold for getting a spot kick is all. Well, the transgression is high, of course. Inside the box and inside and outside. Send a five, well, just a yard outside. What's that given? We do have VAR tonight, as this is a Premier League round. The VAR is Tony Harrington.
Well, that's a pretty good opening 20 minutes for the championship side. Yeah, could only really have gone slightly better with one goal. Maybe the perfect start to this game. Oh, Manning's given it away. McConnell's got it forward, huge chance. Well, Gakpo tried to turn and shoot and was crowded out. Yeah, the ball was ne never really got away from him. Uh, Cody Gakpo, enough that he was able to really take, yeah, that's under his feet. Just needed to be pushed out another yard or so. And then he probably doesn't try and bring it back inside. You to just move away from your body a little bit when you... You know you're going to be under pressure very quickly. Well, that's the risk we were talking about from Southampton. Manning quickly closed down and uh, his pass deflected straight to a Liverpool player. A rebound. Quite the coordination between the three at the front pressing for Liverpool and those behind them. And the Saints have been able to get themselves out quite comfortably so far. Ryan Manning looking for Kamaldin Suleimana. Well, that's brilliant from Kwanzaa, absolutely superb. Gomez. Goes for Costa Simakas. Rolled in nicely for Kumas. Gomez. Oh, he wanted a free kick there. Did uh, James Bree? Didn't get one, but he'll get the chance to clear here. Absorbing first half. Gomez. Lovely crossfield ball to Simicas. Gomez. Van Dyke. Post-match interview on the pitch, barely a bead of sweat on his forehead after 120 minutes. Elliot. Bradley. Elliot trying to roll it into the path of Bobby Clark. Elliot. Connor Bradley. Much better this from Liverpool. Yeah, best period of possession they've had. Van Dyke. If they were hoping for a stress free evening, Liverpool, they're not going to get it, it appears. Oh, Arebo gave it away, but the whistle's gone for a free kick to Southampton for the challenge on James Free. See on the advertising hoarding there, it says precision on point. That's what Southampton have to be when they're playing out from the back. Anything less, and Liverpool will nick it. Yes. Arriba. Now, space here. Rothwell out to Suleimana. Takes on Bradley. And slipped over. Got it back though. Charles. Well, they 
do break the press as well, Gary. They're quick to get forward and support the front players, aren't they? So Joe Rothwell made a terrific run. Just as uh, Suleimano was uh, dispossessed inside the box, a little bit unlucky, lost his footing. Well, Liverpool youngsters unable to eat up the ground as quickly. Phenomenal subs in the Carabao Cup final is one thing, but starting the game, especially at Anfield, is going to be very difficult at the moment. Well, that was overhit to Manning, and Elliott has pinched it for Liverpool. McConnell, just his second start. Kwanza. Van Dijk. Gomez. You see Russell Martin saying to his back four push up. He's called for courage and aggression from his players. They've shown plenty of that so far. But it's a long 90 minutes at Anfield. Kwanzaa. Bradley. Edozi away. the best header in truth but uh, Liverpool couldn't seize on it Gomez. Not a great cross either from Conor Bradley he just had to whip that one with pace on the floor ideally oh, he's put that straight behind as well goal kick to Southampton oh, the presence is not there in the final third for Liverpool to really get too many uh, opportunities for a headed goal Cody Gakbo is the more likely but Steven to Bedrek you'd imagine it'd be Pretty confident that they could deal with the Dutchman. Stevens. Breeze. All given away. Another heart in mouth moment for those travelling Saints fans. again mentioned how he was brought to the club by uh, Nathan Jones Nathan Jones is here working for our radio colleagues Rothwell Suleimana back to Joe Rothwell well, that's loose from Shea Charles straight to Gakpo the sort of error that Saints can't afford to make Bobby Clark beaten to it by Stevens brilliant Arriba by Bednarek, Stevens, Bree, very brave, and it's worked out, Mara, Rothwell, 4v4, Suleimana taking on Bradley, gets the byline, and it hits Kwanzaa, corner. That's the game plan right there. A real threat, Suleimana, when he gets the opportunity to attack any fullback one on one. Shifts the ball superbly, well, doesn't it? It's a Jeremy Doku like. He's not able to pick out a teammate. Gordon Klopp's words before the game is the boys have to defend well, and then we'll see what we can do up front. I mean, we would have thought that any uh, visiting side coming to Anfield hearing those words. Rothwell's corner. Simic has away. Sulemana, Edozi. Manning. Rothwell. Gomez in quickly, really quickly on Charles. 
And that's a beautiful ball to Elliot. Half an hour gone. It's rolled back to Clark. Stumbled and slipped as he got the shot away. Son of uh, Lee Clark, former Newcastle man. He was a proud dad at the League Cup final on Sunday. Big strike on him, isn't he, Joe Lomley? Yeah. Way to break that press. It's only his uh, fourth appearance for Southampton. Ivan Bazunu, the uh, main man between the sticks this season. Alex McCarthy's on the bench for Southampton here tonight. He's only played once this season. Russell Martin also prioritising matters elsewhere. They've got uh, a promotion campaign to think about. Bree, it's a loose one to Simicass. Experience of this Liverpool team is proving to be a real leveller. Clark. Yeah, that's where St. Anton has to make it as much a physical game as they are, a passing exercise, which they've done superbly well so far. Right, okay, they have uh, they've, they've bullied a lot of the Liverpool youngsters, which I expected to be honest. Uh, difficult to get to the pace of the game, and a uh, number of the players in Liverpool red shirts, that's understandable. Quanta. The longer the game goes on, the better they will feel. And second and third win. Gomez. Clark. Bradley. Up by Mara. Stevens. Charles. Plans are in so quickly. And so often we say that the first goal is so crucial, but in a game like this where it's so tight and tense that applies even more of course he endured some misery against Liverpool as a Norwich player at the hands of Luis Suarez he seemed to score a hat-trick every time he played against them Also say for Southampton, they have scored in each of their last 30, 3-0 in all competitions. Yes, they're not short of confidence, are they? In recent uh, matches have been not to their liking. Overall, the, the quality of football and the, the number of great results they've had in the last few months says that this is a very accomplished outfit in the championship. Charles brought down. Free kick was taken too quickly for the referee's liking. Ten minutes left in this uh, frenetic first half. Three. 
will win it back again. And there's space down the left side for Kumas. A dead-eye finisher, we're told. Stopped by Stevens for now. Simakas. Comes off a dozy. Defiance across the ball, Costa Simakas. It was a mistake. Chance to get the Southampton defence. He's backpedalling a couple of yards. It should be taken, especially when you've created almost next to nothing as this little full side has. This is Mara. Again, four up for Southampton. Left the ball behind. Well, indecision is costly there. What Van Dijk does well is that he doesn't always engage anybody who's moving in from the flanks, especially this left side in which he operates on. Still biding time and waiting for support. Straight to Bedford. Manning. Suleimane. Manning wants the return. He's hiked the pitch here, the left back. Bradley came back and uh, snuffed that attack out. Gomez. Looking to switch it to Simakas. Do get back in a very disciplined shape when Liverpool are in possession. Southampton. Liverpool have got to move the ball quicker. Come probably didn't need that. And that last challenge of them. Pull the blame. Still shaking off that left leg, I think. Jurgen Klopp will be glad to get his side in at half time and that nil will be quite satisfied with that. Took extra time on Sunday at Wembley. Will it be a similar story here, I wonder? Good ball by Rothwell to Suleimana. Tries to knock it past Quanta. Oh, he has done that. Superb! But the finish is straight at Kelleher. If Joe Gomez is that deep, he shouldn't be beaten so easily. It's great play from Suleimana in the end to skip in between Bradley and Quanta. Once again, he knows where that side will finish. He's got to trust that left foot, put your foot through the football. The ball is past him and he's side footing, I can understand that from his foot. More power there. Well, that is a striker who hasn't scored this season, isn't it? It uh, says a lot about where he is in terms of confidence and finishing that ability. And the goal is at his mercy. Or uh, forward, should I say, rather than strike it. You won't see him play through the middle very often. But he should still be getting his fair share. As it does, he has on the other side. As I mentioned, the Saints have got some real firepower on the bench with their two top scorers this season. Look at the space here for Simicas for Liverpool. He's hung that up to the far post and Manning with a great header. That's applauded by both centre backs. Yeah. Terrific defending. I'm well aware that there was another Liverpool play behind him. He's been to send it away to relative safety. Just a chance, of course. Van Dijk is up. Well, yeah, he ended him from a set piece at the weekend. This is. Liverpool's first corner of the match. Nodded in doesn't really do justice to that header, does it, to be fair? <laughs> Suleimana wants that to go over the line for a goal kick, and it does. Liverpool. 
Liverpool are uh, six goals short of 1,000 under Jurgen Klopp. I don't think they're going to get those six tonight. <laughs> Struggling to get six attempts on goal, the way it's gone so far. Elliot has got the ball forward to Kwanzaa. Bradley deflected behind for a corner. say pre-match is a huge fan of the championship and the uh, crazy intensity of the matches watches a lot of uh, championship football he said I wonder where he gets the time well <laughs> good point he's certainly glued to the uh, Leeds Leicester game on Friday night as many of his work Simicast with the corner. Liverpool keep it alive with Elliott. He might take it on here. Pushed away brilliantly by Lovely. Great strike. Yeah, it was a good hit from Harvey Elliott. And that's word, isn't it? Moving away from the goalkeeper. That's a fine stop. With the fingers of the right hand. The players needed that. And the crowd needed it. That will lift the players, the full players, of course. I think the atmosphere to affect the Southampton players. So Mikasa's corner, headed away by Bednarek. Comes out to Elliot. Scored just twice this season. Bradley. Goal kick. His dad, uh, Jason Kuman, scoring a goal for Tranmere at Goodison Park against Everton in the fourth round. A 3 0 win for Tranmere on the day. Yes, yeah, local bragging rights on that day. Jason Kuman is still only uh, 44. <laughs> His son playing here for Liverpool at Anfield. Southampton have certainly accepted that they're not going to boss possession as they normally do. But when they do have the ball, they're making very good use of it. What they've lacked is that killer touch in front of goal so far. And they've had the chances. Simicas. Clark. Great ball into Kumas. Good try, oh, brilliant God. goal! What a way to mark his senior debut! Lewis Kumas at the age of 18 nets at Anfield. And it's a fabulous finish, just passed into the corner. And Klopp's kids are ahead. His dad would have been proud of that one. I mean, that's a puff of the cheeks, isn't it? A couple of times from young Kumas. Terrific finish. Jurgen Klopp in his interview before the game said he's a terrific little finisher, one of the best at a football club. And with that, you can see why. Just reverses the ball. Completely wrong foot, Joe Lumley. And I said, you don't take your chances. We've seen it before, haven't we, so many times. That story's played out in professional football. You get balls, takes a, takes a deflection. Big deflection. Bednarek, yeah, turns his body. He shouldn't do really because he's not the first defender. That's a poor error from such an experienced man, but Kumas won't care at all. Go down as his goal. Well, what a horrible time for Southampton to concede in the 44th minute. With just one minute of stoppage time to come at the end of the half. Lost it again. Breeze lost it. Here goes Kumas. He's got it through to Gakpo. So. A little bit tight as well. 
He's going to get his body in great position because of the goalkeeper. Joel on the air, it's a great win back, isn't it? Kumas, un un Kumas unselfish. Well, there's the man who turned his back, Bednarek. They'll be bitterly disappointed. Saints have defended well in this first half. And look at that, last five minutes, Liverpool have really stepped it up. And he has to do it the hard way. Run a play considering the uh, possession stat we just saw, but and the balance of uh, chances. A real threat in this first half. So we will feel extremely aggrieved that it appears, and they are going into the great goal down. Well, a big roar around Anfield because Liverpool are ahead. So Liverpool have made a half-time change, and it's not a huge surprise. Their captain, Virgil van Dijk, withdrawn at half-time to be replaced by another experienced centre-back in Ibrahima Konate. There is van Dijk, who uh, played the full two hours on Sunday. He's played 45 minutes here. And Liverpool are going to see the game out. They'll do it without van Dijk. Southampton, as you were. I certainly think that uh, Russell Martin will be very, very pleased with what he saw in that first half. He'll be bitterly disappointed about the goal, of course, but uh, for the first 20 minutes, his side were by far the better team. What they didn't do was break the deadlock and paid the price for those missed opportunities. Certainly seen Southampton come from behind to win games in the championship several times this season. Whether they can do it here at Anfield, well, that's quite another thing. Liverpool with just two defeats in their last 45 domestic games. One of those was the uh, shambles at Spurs in September. The other one, of course, at Arsenal earlier this month. They just need to keep believing the Southampton players. I would imagine that the message was quite positive at half time. And one of the players and how well they played. Just to point out that they just need to be a little bit more clinical, which of course they will know. And not easy, of course, to translate it from the championship to this uh, mighty stage. Just to clarify, when I say the sh shambles at Spurs, I'm not talking about the Liverpool shambles, I'm no, talking the about officials. the officials, yes. The VAR calamity. Rebo brought down here. Yeah, don't force the issue if you're a Saints player. So you know how you did in the first half. Liverpool, I don't think, will be overly aggressive with the press. Charles to Arebo. Dozy. Did well to get there, Mara! And Suleimana with the second attempt, and somehow Liverpool survive. What a great move that was from Saints. Well, they continue to cut open this Liverpool midfield and back line, don't they? Super ball in. What a big touch from Konate, isn't it? Big touch to take it away from Mara. Big save, he didn't know too much about it, did he? Even Kelleher goes down as a big stop, nonetheless. Well, he was superb, wasn't he, uh, at Wembley on Sunday, Kelleher. And so far, he's been brilliant again. As you say, yeah, but a really important touch there from Canate. It's a delightful ball in from Adozi, begging to be finished, really. Yeah, they would like the chance to fall to Sakumara, wouldn't they? Uh, 
toe poke away. Send it to Sulemano who can beat Kelleher. Again, Arebo to a dozy. Takes on Quanta. Up in the air by Simicas. Corner. Oh, that's compelling stuff. It's going to be a change of taker here. We've seen Rothwell take all the set plays so far, but Ryan Manning has gone across to take this one. Centre-backs trying to subtly make their way into the penalty area. Comes off Gomez. Breaks kindly for Charles. Oh, nothing wrong with that ball in, but Bednarek couldn't finish it off. That's a lovely ball back in, doesn't he, Shea Charles? Too much of a touch from Benderet. So difficult to control that. And the pace that close to the goal. Very good opening five minutes to the second half for Southampton. Bree. Stevens. Side of the boot from the captain, Rothwell. Manning. Silvana pushed in the back by Konate. He does love to follow a striker because of the opposing half of Konate. He's got a few fouls, but... Stevens looking for a dozy. Oh, he couldn't quite get there because Quanta got himself between player and ball. Living dangerously at times, though, Liverpool. They'd love a second goal. They need it. Elliot. Beautifully done. Gakpo! Oh, he's pulled it horribly. On the end of a wonderful move, Cody Gatmo, the best that Liverpool have produced so far tonight. Oh, it's an awful drag, way away from the post. He's got time to set himself to see where he wants to hit it. In the end, it goes through the legs of Jack Stevens. In truth, he shouldn't have done. The ball should have been away long before the Saints captain got there. Bradley. Elliott. See the technical ability of uh, some of these young Liverpool players. Breathtaking at times, but uh, you still need the match experience, don't you, in occasions like this, which is why they've been the odd mistake. And you also need the physicality as well to not be able to receive the ball in, in different areas of the field. And you're going to be challenged a lot more aggressively than you are on the training ground. And that's what they've been able to uh, uh, cut with so far. But that's understandable. You know, the kids aren't they? The teenagers there. Jason Yep, correct. Key part of the uh, setup. Southampton works very closely with Russell Martin. From it's put on just a little bit away, Jason. <laughs> yeah. Had a great left foot, didn't he? Yeah, good, one. good guy, I should say. Suleiman. Gomez. 
Simakas. Southampton contingent still full of belief here. While it's only 1 0. Playing some lovely stuff. That's a ball they've been successful with, haven't they? When they've beaten the press, just a nice little educated and considerate pass to a teammate in the park. Adozi, it's been such a good out ball for Saints. Deflected. Behind, corner kick. Rothwell touched on beautifully by Arebo. Rothwell's role is interesting in this team because uh, we know him as a deep-lying number six, but that's not how Russell Martin sees him. He said he's come to provide competition to the attacking midfielders. And he is going to take this corner. Southampton's fifth of the game. Oh, that's a terrific delivery. And Arebo gets ahead to it, just too much on it. Fantastic corner. And nothing wrong with that delivery at all. Bit of a glance. To really try and head the ball, if that makes sense. Just turn your head and allow it to hit you. And that's Carl Walker Peters. Real Premier League quality to bring on there for Saints. Oh, Mara nearly nicked it. Charles, Edozi. Charles overran it. One set. Rothwell. Manning. Great ball that. Sulemana. Kanate again denies it. Elliot. Gomez. And for Kwanzaa. Just oozes quality. Gerald Kwanzaa at the age of 21. Actually, compared to some of his teammates today. Very really short, isn't he? Oh, that's brilliant lead up. Clark. Pass Manic. Oh. Just couldn't get it out to uh, Simicas with the right weight. An easy pass. Just to set it to Cody Gakpo. Bednarek. See a double change or triple change by the looks of things. No, it is double. So we're going to see top scorer Adam Armstrong coming on for the frustrated Sulemana, who's really had his chances. And Walker Peters replaces Bree. Adam Armstrong has certainly had a, a stellar season. 16 goals and uh, 11 assists as well. Peters would slot into many a Premier League team. Actually played left back at the weekend, but uh, most of his games have been out on that right hand side where he's gone now. Adam Armstrong has been one who's consistently done it in the Championship. Never got the goals when Southampton were in the Premier League. He's had a fantastic season. He's 
starting on the left-hand side, Armstrong. It's unusual for him. He'll be hoping that his teammates are able to continue to create these opportunities. I can't afford you to believe that this is the goal for you tonight. Simicats. Stevens. Bednarek. Manning. Trying to find Armstrong again. Canate in so quickly. Elliott. Bradley. Just a throw. Semikas, beautiful ball, McConnell hits it against the legs of Stevens for a corner. The second goal would be ideal for Liverpool, but they don't need to be hit on the counter attack. They need to be concerned. Canate is the best uh, recovering defender so far forward. Mane just to leave him back. Canate it is. Unless he scores, of course. <laughs> well, there is Alexis McAllister and Jaden Dans, son of Neil Dans, to come on. He'll be replacing. Uh, Kumas, the goal scorer. Dan's coming on for just his third senior appearance. And Manning's ball in. Liverpool convinced that there was a foul. Yes, it looked like it. Played on. It's kind of like a colour has it. Today is Connor Bradley. Probably maybe thinking about giving him a rest towards the end of the game. Well, they've got such a busy spell, Liverpool, haven't they? Forest away on Saturday, then Sparta Prague away in the Europa League, and then Manchester City at home on Sunday the 10th. So, big ovation for Kumas, whose goal separates the sides. A senior debut to remember for the teenager. And another teenager replacing him. Not McAllister, he's certainly not a teenager. He's a World Cup winner. There's the goal again. It was a massive moment. I want that to have been clean when they passed the goalkeeper that celebration six a lot, that's how much it means to him. And why not? Well, we will never forget. Yep. There is Jaden Dans. Another 18-year-old. He comes on for McConnell. It really doesn't seem like five minutes since Neil Dans was playing. Dans has made the run. Straight away through the middle. Stevens gets it away. Clearly, the next goal is going to be absolutely crucial in this cup tie. Liverpool made uh, light work of Norwich with a much more experienced team than this in the last round. Any kind of victory tonight for Liverpool would be pleasing considering the insertions of a few days ago. Bradley. Put away by Walker Peters. Simicas won it back ahead of Vidozi. 
This is McAllister. He will bring a measure of control in the middle of the park. Deep line ball, which is not his uh, best position. Uh, effectively, so far this season for Liverpool. The retention should be a little bit sharper now. He's entered the fray. Liverpool's last seven home games against Southampton have been six clean sheets in there. Hoping for another one here. Bobby Clark. Walker Peters. Really well there. Edozi wouldn't stick. Good spell this for Liverpool. If they get the second goal, that might be enough. Elliott. Lots of return. Dance. Got a deflection. It's a corner. Klopp enjoyed that. Yeah, nice play. Yeah, I don't think there's actually troubling the goalkeeper, Joe Longley, but I'm working. He's shifting the ball and looking for goal himself. And Canate's presence as well has made a difference because he's been able to steal the ball off Southampton forward a couple of times and just get the pressure on the press in the middle of the park. Five each on corners. McAllister, Elliott, Simakas. Elliott's ball in, put it away by Bednarek, Bradley, Gomez, Gomez again, taking on Charles, not able to quite wrap his foot around the ball there, goal kick, 25 minutes left. at the way game of the season they've scored in 18 out of 19 but so far not here They're making hard work of getting the ball away Stevens has lost it Walker Peters helping out pass dance is persistent at the moment. Matt Gill just saying to Russell Martin, trying to plot a way back into this. Bednarek. Stevens. Rothwell up to Armstrong. Rothwell's on the outside, instead he looks for a dozy. Wants it on his left side, really. Canate stretches. Crucial intervention, corner kick. Got great feed, hasn't he, Samuel Adozi? Not sure if he's going to come back inside onto that left foot of his. That's a good cut back through the legs of Noel Quanta. Leading Canate once again to save the day. Odozi signed from Manchester City, of course. He's just got better and better. Sixth corner for Southampton. Manning with it. Oh, it's going to come all the way through to Charles, and he's missed it. Didn't move his feet. Yeah, controlled the ball and then just stood there and just swung his leg at it. What a chance. Well, he's never scored. And that's why. 
Bednarak away. 33 senior appearances. Shea Charles, no goals. Now, we're going to see Smallbone and Shea Adams coming on. So Edozi's night is over. And Shea Adams uh, coming on. Rothwell making way. So it's time to bring on the two top scorers. We've already seen Armstrong come on. Now Adams as well. Four changes made by Russell Martin. There's just over 20 minutes to go. Interesting to see how that forward line looks now. So Armstrong through the middle, Adams on the right. Or is Armstrong staying on the left? He is yeah, staying on the left. Yeah. Time being. Mara on the right, Adams through the middle. Sense there's a little bit of anxiety around the home crowd here. Bradley on for Elliott. Oh, he's got away from Manning. Great ball just over Dan's. Clear by his run. A little bit anxious to get in there with Dan's. A big 20 minutes coming up here. Liverpool with plenty of work to do to get the job done. Simicas kept it in. A reminder that the winner of this tie will be away to the winner of the Forest Man United game, which is currently goalless. Bradley. No way through for Elliott. And yet again. Lovely ball for Bradley. Elliott. Gomez, Juanse, superb, Simicas, that's nicely done as well, Elliot stabbed away by Manning, that shot was from Clark, it deflects behind for a corner. Well they deserve a little bit of luck, don't they, Southampton, in their own penalty area. Comes through with a good cut back, Harvey Elliott, not in position really, just trying to fancy reverse flip. And a big block to send the ball wide. Well, could this be the moment for Liverpool to seal the victory? Simicas. Oh, both centre backs made the leap. Bradley. Sweeping it back out to the corner taker, Simicas. Charles puts a stop to that run and wins the try. I wonder if he's still thinking about that chance just now. Big opportunity. In the earlier corner. Oh, two players ended up on the deck, Manning and uh, Dans. to that, given away by Smallbone, Elliott, Dance! It's offside, is he? Riotous scenes of celebration! Jaden Dance with a delightful finish to make it 2-0 to Liverpool. A wretched error from the man who's just come on, Will Smallbone. But it couldn't have gone better for Jaden Dance. 
A first senior goal to add to the earlier one from Kumas. What a finish. Yeah, they put themselves in danger a couple of times, haven't they? So that, does he time his run perfectly? He does, all oh, clearly onside. Yeah, Stevens didn't step out when he should have done. He's got no chance to affect the play from that distance. You just got to gamble and hope that Downs is a little bit eager too early. Timed it perfectly. The weight of the pass from Harvey Elliott said, just finish me. Goalkeeper comes out, goes down a little bit too wide, doesn't he? The goalkeeper, Joe Lumley. But what about the composure from young Jaden Downs? That's the finish of a veteran who's been doing it for years. Brilliant. Beautiful finish. Elite knee slide celebration as well. And that might be that. Now Southampton with uh, one more change to make. Whether they'll be able to claw this back remains to be seen. 2 0 down with just over a quarter of an hour to go. We talked about risk and reward earlier. Well, that was a horrible error from Smallbone in his own final third. And Stevens nearly made one there. There's another giveaway from Smallbone. Elliott. They're hungry for more Liverpool. Oh, McAllister puts it over. Still, Southampton haven't scored an FA Cup goal at Anfield. Their sixth visit here in this competition. I mentioned the change, Taylor Harwood Bellis coming on for Walker Peters, interestingly. And it did look like he picked up an injury, which is terrible news for Southampton. That might be more significant than going out of the cup, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't see where he actually went down. Yeah, to come together with a Liverpool player for Carl Walker Peters. McAllister. Still they pour forward again. Clark has got it out wide to Simicas. Stevens away. Charles. All Jurgen Klopp now wants is an injury-free end to this game. Gomez. Bradley. Space for Elliott here. Really wanted on his right side. Gomez. Not this time. Simicas. Too deep. Well, we're going to see a little bit of Liverpool history here. Trey Maurice Nioni, age 16, is going to become Liverpool's youngest ever player in the FA Cup. Look at that baby sure face. 16. I was going to say you could mistake him for a mascot. Wow. He is a kid. What a moment for him. Born on the 30th of June 2007. Off goes Harvey Elliott, who was the youngest player in the FA Cup for Liverpool. So it's fitting. Fair to say he's got some bulking up to do. But on comes Liverpool's number 98. The subs are getting younger and younger. You know I've got shoes older than him. <laughs> I have anyway. I've definitely got a winter coat older. Gomez. Well, straight away, a free kick is given. This uh, train I only went over. Oh, 
Well, if they're good enough, they're old enough. You can imagine all these boys, the teenagers, in and around the first team. Since Liverpool moved their training headquarters out to Kirby, they've been able to incorporate the kids really close and right alongside the senior side, and that's certainly helped. How, how many of them, Evan, are going to be so disappointed that Jurgen Klopp is leaving because he shows so much faith in them? All of them. Surely they will all be hugely disappointed when he leaves the club in the summer. Whoever replaces him, Liverpool will want that replacement to have the same faith in youth. A requirement, isn't it? You yeah. need to be able to have trust in them. Of course, if they are at the right level, as I said, in close proximity to the first team stars that will hasten their development. I think there are plenty of Liverpool fans that are still clinging on to the hope that Jurgen Klopp will win trophies this season. Take a look at this. Yeah, incredible squad and think, you know what, I can't leave. He's lost it, has Bednarek, Dans. Well, stranger things have happened, haven't they? Well, well, point to when Sir Alex Ferguson said he was retiring 20 years ago, changed his mind. Well, this game isn't over, 10 minutes plus whatever. Stoppage time, the officials allow. Lamara threw himself to the ground there. Concentration is important. Just one slip, one error. To bring the Vistas back with a chance of winning the game or at least getting Sons back to 2 2. That's Nayoni. One set. McAllister, who, as you rightly said, Evan has brought some real calmness to the midfield for Liverpool. Yeah, so often it won't look spectacular, just been in the right position to make yourself available when your teammate is in trouble. Getting too carried away when your team are getting forward and thinking you have to go up and support the attack. Just been aware of uh, the danger that may happen if the teammate loses the football, so McAllister is well adept at reading all those situations. And sometimes without actually making the tackle he can be an effective defender. Bradley, past Dans, comes through to Clark, Naoni, Simakas, Gakpo, Manning ensures that goes behind for a corner, another good header from him. Yeah. If people are just tuning in, they'll see Tina Liverpool and I think well routine comfortable yeah. it's, it hasn't been that at all I'm sure Southampton are wondering how on earth they haven't scored but it's all about taking the chances and uh, Liverpool with two teenagers have done exactly that McAllister to take this Liverpool corner Shoot around that field. That really would be the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? Although I seem to remember we said that in the last round. Jack Pope. Clark. It's a foul on Manning. to see uh, Cody Gakpo pulling up a uh, lane towards the end of this match. Uh, the uh, status of local forwards, you know, Joss is out for quite some time. So I mean, a, in the last couple of matches. And Diaz uh, played a full 120 minutes, didn't he, a couple of days ago in Chelsea, so no surprise that uh, he's been left on the bench tonight. Small boat. Mara staying on side, on the far side. It's Simakas, second attempt. Didn't reach Adams, it will now. Mara. And the Reds got so many players back, it is a corner.
we're still at the stage where Southampton get a goal back. Could be very interesting. Well, it's a cup match, you know. You might you might as well go down swinging if you can see the third or even fourth. Manning's corner. Nobody will be overly concerned about that. Coming down with making a real attempt to get yourself back into the game. sure that uh, Liverpool would love it if Nottingham Forest were taken to extra time in their game because of course Liverpool travelled to Forest on Saturday but it looks like they've conceded a late late goal to Manchester United so right now it is looking very much like a Manchester United Liverpool quarter-final nicely done by Adams Arriba Dragged his man to the ground, but that's brilliant from Gakpo to stay on his feet and drive Liverpool forward. Gakpo looking for his first FA Cup goal. Yeah, he deserved to actually take that shot on in the end. Not too many clear options to pass to a teammate, but he's won some 75, 80 yards. And sometimes at the end of a long run like that, a little bit fatigued, you don't quite get yourself set. I mean, it was the bad connection. Not too much power in the end. Some control. Arrivo, Mara. Armstrong is waiting, but yet again, Canate's positioning is immaculate. So a superb second half. Mara hobbling. There's no more subs that Southampton can make. Absolute determination to keep their clean sheet here. Liverpool, the two goal cushion, absolutely priceless at this stage. Russell Martin will be travelling to St Andrews on Saturday, Birmingham City. And then Preston at home next Wednesday. They'll try and get their automatic promotion bid back on track after three defeats in four. and Ipswich have overtaken them. Gomez. Proud, desperate to see him score. And in the end, he's uh, not even got the pass right. Oh, well, Rebo's lost it. Didn't reach Gakpo away by Bedrarek. Bradley! And Dance has made it three! And sends Liverpool through to the FA Cup quarter-final. What an incredible cameo from that young man. Two goals in front of the cop. Well, smart play from the youngster. He's on the move, isn't he? Hungry to get himself on the score sheet once again. Connor Bradley went for the audacious outside of the boot. It's a good save, isn't it, from Joe Lumley? Well, look how look how quickly Dan is on the move before the shot was even played. Smelling the opportunity. The guy who knows what it's, what's required you know, at this tender age to get yourself on the score sheet. Yeah, just out of picture here, coming in. Yeah, Jack Stevens is ball watching. Dan steals in. Goalkeeper would love to send that one wide, but not going to be too critical at all. A poacher's finish to seal the game. What a few days it's been for Liverpool. Bringing on those young players in extra time at Wembley and winning the League Cup and then naming this young side tonight and dispatching Championship high flyers Southampton courtesy 
of three goals from two teenagers. Well, it's demoralising for Southampton because the scoreline is, uh, is harsh as far as they're concerned. All they can do is look back on the missed chances. So we know what's coming in there, the missing level of opportunities, great chances in the first half. No goal for Gakpo, he's withdrawn as Liverpool make their final change. And, uh, Cade Gordon is the latest young player to come on the 19-year-old forward for his third appearance. And looking at four minutes of stoppage time, that that's probably academic, given the margin of victory at the moment. and chasing for an opportunity to get himself a hat-trick. And that could still be topped. So confirmation that Manchester United are through. 89th minute goal from Casemiro. Enough to seal their place in the last eight. And they'll be at home to Liverpool in uh, a truly mouth-watering last eight tie. At Old Trafford. Simicass. Clark. Is that the end of the scoring tonight? I wonder. McAllister. going the distance. Chelsea have beaten Leeds, Wolves have beaten Brighton. And this one certainly isn't going to extra time. Nice clean evening. It's another to actually get into the first team, perform well enough, and a couple of win wins under your belt. You for the confidence and sign to the coaching staff that, if needed, further down the line as Liverpool continue to chase trophies, these kids can be relied upon to play some kind of part. It keeps the senior players just that little bit honest as well, doesn't it? Because complacency, as they've been fixtures in the team for a number of years. Don't see that very often. this evening but uh, ultimately bitterly disappointing outcome for them they certainly played their part they were excellent in the first half a few chances they got through Liverpool's midfield and back line quite a few times but you know, 
the finishing touch, of course, they were always going to be in trouble if Liverpool opened the scoring. And so it proved. He's been proud of his plays. Also, Martin, I mean, that the main uh, focus this season, of course, has to be trying to return to the Premier League. Well, the reality is, it's going to be four defeats in five games in all competitions for Southampton. But Liverpool are through to their 28th FA Cup quarter-final. And what a night for two young Liverpool players. A night they'll never forget.